Have you ever thought about starting your own podcast? When we were trying to get this podcast off the ground, we had so many questions. How do we record an episode? Where do we find background music? How do we get our show on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, and all the other places that people like to listen? And where do we find advertisers? The answer to every one of these questions is really simple. Anchor. Anchor is a one-stop shop for recording, hosting, distributing, and monetizing your podcast. And best of all, it's 100% free and 100% ridiculously easy to use. Anchor makes it simple to get up and running. You can upload and schedule your podcast ahead of time. It publishes to all the major podcast platforms. You can easily check your stats. I could go on and on, but instead, why don't you go and get started? Go to anchor.fm slash start to join the e-commerce minute and a diverse community of podcasters already using Anchor. That's anchor.fm slash start. We can't wait to hear your podcast. It's the e-commerce minute, your daily dose of e-commerce tech and retail news with your hosts, Bart Moraz and John Suter. The e-commerce minute is a production of Sumo Heavy, a digital commerce consulting firm in Brooklyn, New York and Philadelphia. Find us on the web at sumoheavy.com. It's e-commerce minute episode 279. In today's episode, world pays drone delivery, Matt fights fraud. Like it or not, drone based e-commerce is coming. The big players like Amazon and UPS are already making headway into aerial delivery systems, mostly to save money, but also to cut down on roadway congestion and harmful emissions from road-based delivery vehicles. With this new delivery format come the usual concerns of stolen, undelivered, or misdelivered packages. Payments processor WorldPay has come up with an ingenious solution to combat these issues with a new prototype system that secures proper payment before completing deliveries. The system involves a portable helipad-type mat that is issued to the customer. Each helipad mat is tied to a customer's credit card, Europay, MasterCard, Visa, American Express, Discover, and other contactless payment cards. As the drone is about to make delivery, it would communicate using EMV contactless payment card technology to verify the identity of the recipient verify its location, and to authorize payment. Once it's verified, it sends a signal back to the retailer and unlocks the drone's payload. The system was designed to work with a variety of drone vehicles, which would aid retailers looking into aerial delivery solutions. The verification system would benefit customers by cutting down on the growing occurrence of misdelivered or undelivered packages. Greg Warch, Senior Vice President and Head of Business Development for Global Enterprise E-Commerce in North America for WorldPay said, in the next two to five years, drone delivery will be reality. It will be a common experience. There's a lot of excitement about this. By 2024, 80% of all deliveries will be made by autonomous craft. The drone delivery industry in the U.S. alone has grown from $40 million in 2012 to $1 billion in 2017. Yeah, so common, maybe not. Reality, sure. (laughs) I don't know. I I think it's going to... We have enough congestion everywhere. I'm not sure we really need more. Well, we've talked about the pros and cons of drone delivery in many, many episodes. This seems like a good solution for fraud, but it still doesn't solve many of the other problems. Like in, there's a demo video and it'll be on our website, ecommerceminute.co. WorldPay did a, a demonstration of this technology, but unfortunately the house that this is delivering to has this nice giant big yard, which it actually seems like it's on a farm. Um, Most of us don't live on farms. No. (laughs) Um, So I I mean, if I, I could just imagine trying to put this mat in my backyard, the mat, the size of the mat is probably as big as my backyard. I like it because it's a solution that can work, work cross retailer, cross platform. It's basically, they, they kind of stepped in and said, someone needs to solve this problem before someone else does. And, instead of just letting Amazon figure it out, they kind of said, we're going to insert ourselves as the payment processor for drone deliveries, which that's smart and that's great technology, but it still doesn't get over the parts that don't make sense about drone delivery, which I don't know. I don't know the answer to that. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, it's going to be, I mean, regulations upon regulations trying to figure this out, right? Like just logistics. It's we'll see how it works out in a few years. Yeah. I mean, it's, Plane going by. There's a drone going by. <laughs> Yay! Leave that in. Um, so this is also good for on the delivery side of it because delivery. The, the one segment that's really making out on the e-commerce boom is the delivery business, which uh, that's a three hundred fifty billion dollar market. And as we said, the drone market is up. It's a eleven point two billion dollar market by twenty twenty. And here's the kicker. Parcel fraud will cost merchants up to $25 billion per year by 2020 if no solution is found. So we've, we've talked about all different, you know, the porch pirate solutions. 
Um, there's no easy way. There's no easy way. And I think the drone thing seems to solve a lot of problems, but I think it invites a lot, a lot of different problems that weren't there before. So it's a rat's nest. But there's a reason. I mean, we understand why you would do, want to do drone deliveries because it's cheaper to throw a drone in the air and have it carry the package instead of running a truck and paying a person and all that stuff. Um, and the concept seems to be workable in certain areas, especially in rural areas. But again, most of us don't live on farms. So there we are. Well, some of us don't live on farms. <laughs> some, of, some of us don't live on farms. I know you live on a farm, giant farm in New York City. <laughs> I have lots of parks. Lots of parks, parks and recs. All right. So this is still the only proof of concept. We'll see where this goes. Um, you know, a lot of logistics, a lot of things to work out. Got anything else, Bart? No, uh, that's it, sir. That's your e-commerce minute for today. We'll see you on the internet tomorrow. <laughs> That's it for today's show. If you like the show, do us a favor and subscribe or leave us a review on iTunes. And don't forget, you can now listen to the e-commerce minute on your Amazon device. Just add e-commerce minute to your flash briefing. And finally, if you have a comment or suggestion or just want to say hi, find us on social media at Sumo Heavy. <laughs>